there's also something else that I don't think has been demonstrated quite a lot. Mm, people ask me about dimple heat. Uh, that's the heat type. Oh. Yeah, that's I here have a cutaway dome lock, D-O-M, and uh, it has five dimples, which means just holes. And here's a little ball, and the little ball is an extra protection. When you insert the key into the lock, the little ball will be pushed up, so it reaches a higher point than the blank normally can get. And that's uh, also a, a copy protection, because in this way nobody can uh, yeah, make, make a blank for this key. It's very difficult to pick this lock. It's extremely difficult. They put in all sorts of um, anti-pick pins. It's, it really is a very nasty lock to pick. On the other hand, I just explained to you a little bit about um, impressioning. And there is a very easy trick to open these locks. And I'll try to demonstrate it. Um, on the, here, you see the original key. It has a deep cut, not so deep cut, deeper cut, not so deep cut. And here's the blank that we prepared. The blank has the cuts all, all the way to the deepest. So this key will never open a lock. We even made it a little bit deeper. It, um, all the holes are just a little bit deeper than they normally would get. And what I'm going to try to do now is put some um, uh, aluminum tape over this blank key so it becomes high again. Stick it in the lock. Then the pins will push on, uh, on the prepared key, um, they will bind, I will move it left and right, and the keys that bind will actually push deeper and deeper and deeper into the foil, and at one moment, hopefully, the lock will turn, and I have an exact copy of the key. And this is a technique that is um, that's possible on almost all dimple lock keys, it's not possible on the multi-locks, because they have pin in pin and some have to be pushed upwards, and therefore it doesn't work on that. But it works on an amazingly amount of, um, of locks. Let's see, I had a small sensor somewhere. Small sensor. Okay. Always looking for the scissor real quick. Uh, there it is. Uh, there's a lot of other high security locks out there. But, uh, if we had a lot more time, we'd be able to go over that. So I'm just going to quickly show them uh, right after he finishes it. If you can find the scissor. Okay, until you find the scissor, I'll show one at a time, real quick. You got it? Okay. Real quick. Uh, let's go with Medico first. Medico is just about the most popular lock in New York City when you go to high security. Medico locks, if you can see that poster, that's how they work. If you can't see the poster, you're not going to find out. Uh, the way they work is they have normal pins, up and down cuts. But, if you look very closely at the key, you're going to see the key cuts are not straight, they're the angles. Uh, put the key right the Let me get it. You see those angles? Okay. If you look at those angles, what they're doing on the inside is the pins spin uh, up to a third, I think, up to about a third. And in the side of the pin, there's a slot, so that once you spin it, it has to be in line with that slot. What happens on the side is there are a bunch of fingers. Those fingers have to go into the slot for it to turn. So you both have to do up and down, and those angles. There's left, right, and center angles. And there's a stand of six cuts. And when you start trying to pick that, you're going to have a heck of trouble. I personally don't know anyone who can pick it. I've heard there's one guy out in the middle of nowhere that can. Uh, this is, I consider, a pretty darn good lock. Uh, the cam locks are good. Well, the, oh, the cam locks are a little bit different. Yeah. Basically, Medco is a very, very good, hard to pick lock. Uh, let me go with another one while he's making the key. I show you what I do. I put some of this uh, aluminum foil that is being used in the car industry and the heating industry um, over this blank. So as you can now see, it's covered. The trick is that the way where the key will enter the lock, it has to be perfect because that's yeah, that's where it will probably uh, jam up if this goes wrong. Okay, I'll try to insert it. We pick locks, we don't make films. Okay. Now, the, the prepared blank is in, in the lock. And now I will wiggle it. This will take a little bit longer than the ace lock. But hopefully the result will be the same. 
But anyway, if... You know. On average, that would open the lock. Uh, of course, the tin foil would slowly shape into the right levels. You go in there, you wiggle, 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 pop. That's how the average wouldn't take very long. Okay, there we go. You got it? Yeah. Yeah.